welcome back to my channel so this is the first video of my series that I will be doing and it's like all about one theme and obviously by the title you guys could tell that the theme is unicorns I love unicorns and they're so cute and like everything unicorn so this video is all inspired by unicorn so I'll be showing you guys a couple of DIYs super easy and fun that you guys can try at home and be inspired so I hope you guys love this video and if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe if you have not already like subscribe click that button and share this video if you want with all your friends so you guys could try these DIYs together that would be so fun have like a unicorn party and do these DIYs my next video will be coming out soon because I did film and the next one that I will be showing you guys is all about mermaids because mermaids are cool so stay tuned for my next video and let's just get into the video already so let's go So starting off, I'm going to take some clay. I just have this colorful clay and just get the colors of the rainbow. Next, take your white color for the cloud and press it flat. And with a toothpick, just outline a cloud shape like this. Take every color and roll it into a small ball and roll it until it becomes long and flat like this. Do this to all of the colors until they're long and skinny. You're then going to take all the colors and connect them together and make sure they're next to each other and just press them together. And once they're together, just cut away the ends so it's nice and clean and make sure you keep pressing them so they stay and stick together. Next, you're going to take your cloud and stick it right on that rainbow. Just put a backing on it and you're set. Now for this canvas, you're going to need all the colors of the rainbow again, some pens, sponges, and a canvas. These pens are perfect for this project because they're nice and skinny. Next, I'm going to take all my colors and I'm also going to cut out a unicorn head and just cut it out. You could use a stencil if you want and stick it on there. I'm taking some white and just kind of putting it everywhere. This will help blend all the colors. I'm going to start by taking some pink and just brushing it on just messily and next I'm going to take some orange and once again just connect it and make sure everything blends. You want to use light colors if you want. You could mix white into each color so that they're nice and light and they mix together. Be careful when you're putting the colors near the unicorn because it might not stay. Next, after blending everything, this is how it should look like, all the colors together. Now I'm taking a pencil, outlining a quote that I liked, and I'm just doing this so I don't mess up. And next I'm going to take my pen. I forgot to record that part, but this is how it looked like once you put the pen Okay, starting off, we're going to take a box that you don't use and some poster board. I'm using a box that I had laying around, it's kind of pretty, and scissors, and just some regular cardboard. So I'm going to take my cardboard and measure it out on my box until it fits well. I made two pieces to fit in the inside since it's a big box, 
and then I cut small little pieces to fit individually between the cardboard, enough to fit a lipstick. I glued this with a hot glue gun and I just made sure that each side was secure. I'm going to take some pink paint and a sponge brush. You could use any color. And I'm just going to start putting the pink paint all over my box. I'm also going to paint the dividers and just go over it with a second coat of paint. I'm going to draw out my unicorn. You could print it out but I wanted to draw it. And I just did it like this. And then I cut it out and put it on my box so I could trace it. Now I traced it with a pencil and I'm going to use my paint pen to go over it. I'm just outlining the unicorn and just filling it in. I'm going to spell out Unicorn Queen because we are Unicorn Queens and I'm going to put some stars on the side and just trace it out with my paint pen. And this is how it looks. Super cute and it looks great. I'm just going to insert my piece and put my lipsticks on that. For this tie-dye project, you're obviously going to need some tie-dye paint and I use some shoes and a pillowcase. Now taking my pillowcase from the center, I'm going to twist it until it's all in one ball and I'm going to add rubber bands and make a star shape and just taking every color of the rainbow, I'm going to blend and mix all the colors. And this is how it's looking so far, just all the colors at once and I love the way it looks. Do the same concept for the shoe except you don't need rubber bands. You just kind of blend it and you let it dry after wetting it and this is the type of pillow that I used and this is how it looks like in the end. Super bright and super colorful and magical. Ooh, ooh, oh, ooh. Lastly, for my unicorn nails, I'm going to use blue, pink, and purple, as well as a sparkly, shimmery color, a sponge, and a sparkly bow to put on one of my nails. So starting off, I'm going to start by applying the blue paint all over my nails. Next, I'm going to take the pink on the sponge, as well as some purple. And I'm just going to sponge it on my nails. This will create a nice gradient and cotton candy-esque effect. I'm doing the same concept over and over again until I like how it looks and reach my desired effect. You could take a small q-tip with acetone and just clean up the edges then add your sparkle And lastly, add your glittery bow. And we're done. 